everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share some things that you can do before you head off on a holiday. I don't know about you, but the last thing I wanna deal with after I come back from a holiday is a messy, unorganized house, a home that needs a bit of cleaning, a kitchen that needs a bit of tidying and all of that. So what I usually like to do, whether I'm going away for a weekend or if I'm going for an extended amount of time, I like to work through different areas in my home and get it ready so that I can just go away on a holiday, enjoy the time with my friends and family, and then when I come back, I have minimal things to do to reset my home. All that I'll have to do is to unpack and then maybe get out of jet lag and then settle in back into our routine. So what I thought was I'll take you around through my home and show you the different areas that I'm cleaning, organizing, decluttering really quickly. It's not going to be very complicated, just little tasks that you can do before you head off on your holiday. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, I really hope you enjoy today's video. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. I post weekly on a Wednesday and my videos cover everything from motherhood, home and life, inspiration, motivation, of course, cleaning like today and also I share videos on moving to and living here in New Zealand so if you like such content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on before this video ends It's quite important that we ventilate our homes, but even more important before we go on a holiday. So make sure when it's a sunny day, you open up the windows and doors and let some fresh air in before you shut your home out for a few weeks while you are away. What is the first thing that we do after returning from a holiday? Laundry lots and lots of laundry so what i like to do before we head off on a holiday is to give the laundry space a good clean and that's what i'm doing here and i wipe away you know all of the dust that might have accumulated around the machine i clean out the washing machine by wiping it out inside and out i also wipe down the dryer as well and due to lack of time sometimes you know i may not be able to do the deep clean that i do i actually do have a separate video and i'll tag that in the description box but what i'm going to use today is a store-bought cleaner and I'm just going to follow the instructions on it and you know put it through the washing machine and let it do its clean and then I can tick off this job once it's done its washing I just open up the lid and I let it to dry I make sure I leave the lid open while we are away on holiday or even while we are at home I make sure I don't close it so that I don't get any moldy smell in it An appliance that's used regularly in all of our homes is the vacuum cleaner. So I recommend that you give your vacuum cleaner a good clean, empty out the bin, and then give it a good wash. I'm just using dish soap and my microfiber cloth here. Make sure you follow the instructions that comes with your vacuum cleaner on how to clean it. Make sure you choose a sunny day because I like to air dry all the bits of my vacuum. And you know what? When you come back from your holiday, your vacuum cleaner is going to be nice and fresh and clean and ready for you so you can start vacuuming again. The pantry is the most important place in our home because here is where we store most of the food that our family eats. So make sure you wipe it down, declutter, check for expiration dates. If there are any products that are going to expire while you are away, make sure you discard it. Another thing that you could do is you could donate any of the canned foods that you might have or you know, pass it on to friends so somebody else can eat it and your pantry will remain fresh while you are away. Moving on from our pantry, we've got our fridge and freezer. It's really important to check all of the products that you store in your fridge, especially the expiration date. Get rid of any dairy products or milk and yogurt and cheese, especially if you're going for a long time. I like to pull out the drawers and wash it up with some dish soap and you know put it all back in so it's nice and fresh and clean because this is where we store our food, right? So make sure you also check all of the dates and if you can pass it on to friends, you can do so. But before you pass it on to your friends, check the expiration date so that they don't have to get rid of it. Now, if you've got a garage freezer, I recommend you know defrosting it out and unplugging it. I also like to put in a box of baking soda, just pull out the lid, pop it into your freezer if you're gonna leave it like that, or even your fridge so that everything stays nice and fresh and there's no foul smells when you come back.
Now, if you've got any indoor plants, make sure you pass it on to a friend or a neighbor or a family member while you're going away on holiday. It's really important to take care of the things that we are growing as well. So make sure you remember to you know, pass on your plants to a friend who can take care of it while you're away. If the plants can be moved out like succulents or something like that, do that, but make sure you get somebody to take care of it while you are gone. One way to save on your electricity bill and conserve some energy and all of that good stuff is to switch off all of the appliances, disconnect, unplug, whatever you call it, and make sure you turn everything off while you're gone on a holiday. This is good practice anyway, so encourage your kids to do this in their rooms when they are um, when they're getting ready to head off for a long weekend or an extended amount of time. While we are in the process of cleaning, let's not forget about our cars. Make sure you wipe down the seats, check under the seats. If you've got young kids, take out all the stuff that they might store in the car, remove any sports gear or you know uh, gym bags, all of that. Just remove everything out of the car. Even ventilate the car if you can a couple of days before you head out on holiday. Decluttering all of the kids' clothes or even your clothes before you go on a holiday, especially if you think you are going to do a bit of shopping, is a really good idea. Just walk around the rooms in your homes and pull out stuff that's no longer used or the kids have grown out of it. Put it into a bag, pass it on to a family member or a friend or donate or sell. Nobody wants to deal with a dusty or messy bed after holiday, right? So here's something that I do every time we're gonna head out for a holiday, even if it's just for a weekend. So I wash all of the sheets and I make the bed, all right? So that's what I'm doing here. I put it all together. And then what I do is I go and take a clean old bed sheet and then I just cover the entire bed. And I tuck it in or just make sure it's tightly fitted. And I do it for our kids' beds, the master bedroom bed, like all of the beds that we'll come back to and then it's just left right there while we are gone on holiday. And then when I come back, all I have to do is carefully take off this top sheet and then I've got a clean bed underneath. Don't forget to clean all of the bathrooms and the toilets really well before you head off on holiday. I also like to pour some bleach into the toilet bowl just to keep it nice and fresh while we're away. Do all of the dishes before you head off on holiday. Don't even leave a tiny teaspoon, all right? Load your dishwasher or a hand wash it. And once you are done using a dishwasher, make sure you just buy a store-bought dishwasher cleaner, just like I did with the washing machine and clean it as well. Finally, we've got our kitchen. Make sure you wipe down the entire kitchen counter, the stove area, and leave the space clean without a lot of clutter, without things on the counter so that it doesn't accumulate dust. I like to pull out the exhaust fan and our goes into the dishwasher and it cleans it out really well. You can also soak it up in the sink if you've got some time. I also will be chucking in my air fryer basket in the dishwasher as well. I'll check the toaster, I'll check the kettle, our coffee machine. So make sure you work through the different appliances in your kitchen, wipe it down, empty it out, and air it out, all right? So make sure you do all of that so it's nice, clean, and dry before you head off on your holiday. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you've got friends and family who are getting ready to travel in the upcoming few weeks, I would love it if you share this video in your WhatsApp groups or your personal social media pages so that other people can check it out too. Now that your home is ready for you to leave and have an amazing holiday, don't forget to get all the official documents ready ahead of time. Don't put it for the night before or while you're at the airport. So get your passports ready, check all of your visas, make sure you have all the entry forms. And I also highly recommend always having a pen in your carry-on bag, which is easy to access. So not in the bottom of your bag, but in a side pocket or something like that. So if you need to fill out a form, 
suddenly out of nowhere and you don't have a whole lot of time, you've got a pen handy on you. All right, there we are heading off to on holiday. I really hope you have a fantastic, relaxing time and it's full of joy and happiness and no stress. I look forward to seeing you with a brand new video next Wednesday. Until then, take care and goodbye.